Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting notes of chocolate. Uh, Nestle. Nay. Hershey. In Healdsburg picking up my kids from camp. Called my buddy Skip from Healdsburg Running Company and uh, said, you guys got any group runs? And he did. Here I am, Lake Sonoma. Man, there's the, there's the whole, we're about to go on a six to 10 mile, depending on how we feel. Look like it's gonna be about a eight and a half total. I had to turn around, I gotta drive back to the end to teach. And man, what a nice run this is. Up, up. Who's your dog? Hotter than I'm used to, but feeling all right. Don't brought no water, no gels, no food on purpose. 8.6, uh, super hard run, very fun. There's nothing like running with a group. Umbrella goal, being outside, being on trails, being with fun people and doing cool stuff. It's what I call umbrella goals. We have our particular goals, losing weight, becoming more fit, but then there's umbrella goals that are sort of laying on top of that. Those are the goals of maybe bigger picture items like being happy, like being successful, like having less stress in our lives. If we don't pay attention to those umbrella goals, we may go too far with a weight loss, too much. We may take on too much because we're forgetting that our overall goal is to have less stress in our lives. Setting goals is great. I'm not anti-goals, never have been. Set a goal, set a huge goal, but you still have to determine what you're able to take on right away. Let's say you don't run ever and you wanna run a 50 mile race. That's your goal. Big goal, awesome, good. Put it on paper, you got that big old goal. Well, I have a family and I have a job and I have a two hour commute every day and all these kinds of things. Therefore, am I gonna be able to get up and run for two hours every day? Or should I determine an amount that I can handle and that actually gives me joy because my umbrella goal is that I'm doing the 50 miler because in theory is gonna make me happy. It's something that's gonna be fulfilling to me. Things sound amazing. Weight loss and running a marathon on paper. They look great on paper. Oh, that sounds great. I wanna run a marathon. I wanna run a marathon. But when we get down to the actual nitty gritty of tomorrow morning, getting up and beginning that training, that's when we gotta think about our entire lives. That there's a bench. Bench with a view, check this out. Bench with a view, my favorite Helen and Bonham Carter movie. Unfortunately, I have seen time and time again, people who find out about what healthy eating is, they know all about it. They read all the diet books and they know what's going on. And then they take on too much. They make the change too fast, it overtakes them, they spend too much time on it, and it is all they think about. And it starts to be detrimental to their happiness and detrimental, oddly enough, to their health. I don't discuss. People walking by, don't they know I'm trying to shoot video? Before the run yesterday, Skip Brand, who owns the Healdsburg Running Company, got the group together, said, hey listen everybody, before we start, we have a VIP with us. And I was like, all right, a VIP, this is awesome. I'm looking around, he was talking about me. I was like, I'm the VIP? That's disappointing, probably for everybody, but mostly disappointing for me. Before you jump into a diet, you know what? I need an espresso and a child. The ramifications of this are a diet might be a huge undertaking given the context of your life. A training plan for a 50 mile race might be a huge undertaking for your life, but it may not be a huge undertaking. It might be the perfect thing for your life. You might be fully motivated for that level of undertaking. Your schedule might fit that kind of thing in perfectly. That's what you gotta figure out for yourself. But ask that damn question, because man, can you avoid a lot of stress and strain in your life if you do so. Go play. Well done. That was like a 9.7. When you adopt the small stepping approach, the small stepping ethic of self-care, everything you do, everything you wanna change about your life, happens but in the context of your life so that you don't put too much more on here. We all got weight on our shoulders. The trick is to offset some of that weight, not to add it on.